Capricorn, we're coming into your birthday season. Maybe lower your expectations from others around this time, especially coming into this Christmas season as well. I'm just looking at that uh, crystal ball and thinking Capricorns are for some reason, you know, getting away from, from their own energy and you know, I'm looking at these two and sort of saying, stop putting your expectations, you know, on, on others because they're defending their ground and, you know, go into this, your own energy, reward yourself, stop, you know, don't look at others. That was the thought coming through with the crystal ball. Don't look at others to, uh, don't put your expectations on them at this time. Maybe it's because of your birthday and, you know, holidays the school holidays uh with christmas and you know new years and around that time so you know if there's if there's something that you're hoping for for your you know birthdays for things like that you know don't forget to to pour that energy into yourself you know uh, reward yourself I'm really feeling here, it's funny because I was thinking movement, dancing, uh, you know, she's got the gym here, like keeping yourself fit, you know, making, doing things for, for yourself is going to be where the best energy for you comes from. And yeah, look, we've got, um, you know, page of swords energy here. So, you know, spending uh, a bit of time as well in that, uh, be cautious of the social media straight away. I'm thinking, you know, cut out this, uh, looking at others, you know, looking at other people's, I think a lot of people put relationships and things up on, you know, you're seeing a lot of Christmas and you, and you know, you're starting to think about what I don't have and, you know, I'm finding that you you really need to pour the energy of where you're looking outward into 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 your towards yourself. That's very important at this stage. Yeah, because that will give you more of this King of Wands fiery kind of kind of energy that that will make you feel better. So, don't look outwards. Focus within their Capricorn. So there could be some defensive kind of energy here perhaps a bit combative over Christmas maybe it's when you're trying to arrange these you know festive seasons holidays and everything you end up sort of you know battling a bit with what to do where to go who's organizing what and that can be uh, really quite quite tricky just to be the one where you feel as though everything's landing on your shoulder. So don't forget to take some time out for, for yourself. Enjoy your glass of red wine. But you do have everything that you need here to have a really successful, um, you know, successful kind of Christmas and to come out feeling like this Queen of Wands, which is funny because don't forget that the King of Wands is just underneath that. So you know, you have the potential to have a really happy birthday and and good season, you know, especially if you pour your energy into yourself. You know, if you wanted to buy something, if you were hoping for a, a particular birthday present, you know, and you don't, you don't think anyone's got the message, you don't think they're going to be getting you something and everyone's gotten overwhelmed with Christmas and they kind of leave you off because it's like, oh, you know, birthdays at this time. Go and buy it for yourself, you know. Go and... Um, reward yourself or go out for that um you know go and go for it for the walk or the or the jog or or you know take the time because that's going to bring you this uh ace of pentacles and i always think of my niece when i see this now with her funny little comment that she says about ace of pentacles but we won't go into that you can see that on my shorts videos uh, so this one is a really beautiful and I especially love the artwork on this because it's got the hands, it's got the lovely lilies and, and love hearts. So this is actually, you know, abundance here, having everything that you want. And that is there for you, Capricorn. I feel like there's a little bit of, there's more money than what you uh, expected if you have your expectations correct, like if you're looking outwardly at everyone else, you'll feel as though, oh, there wasn't enough. Just be careful with your 
a queen of swords energy here because that can be the one that has the harsh uh, tongue, you know, and if there is this bit of combative energy, she can come out and uh, snap at people and that can affect the overall mood of everybody at Christmas time. So just, I think it's very key for you to, you know, chill out, have your glass of wine, put on your lovely fashion, you know, dance around a bit, have fun, you know, stay healthy, exercise so that you're feeling really good so that you can sort of watch your words so that you're being a queen and, you know, two queens on the board here. So, you know, keep that nice energy of the queen rather than a cutting tongue kind of energy because this often can be um, in-law, you know, a mother-in-law or something like that, which could be also giving you a bother um, in-laws always at Christmas you know it's tricky when you've got to open your house to others and I feel as though you are doing that Capricorn perhaps you're the ones that are hosting that are hosting Christmas uh, look it looks really happy this looks like an Australian kind of Christmas a very um, sunny sort of energy here with you know the drinks plenty of plenty of drinks all different cocktails uh, coming along there but um, you know you've got Ten of Cups, happy family, happy happy life on the board. So, you know, um, think about family in that way. Like how lovely, have have some gratitude because, you know, these people are there whilst they drive you um, crazy at times. They're there to sort of help you, you know, they would be there when the chips are down as well. So watch your words with them, you know, understand that everyone's under pressure at this time of year. You've got the four of wands, which is the lovely marriage, happy family card coming over this seven of wands. So again, this dancing playful energy is where you need to, to be, you know, look, you know, music, look, maybe going outside at nighttime, enjoying the stars, uh, really dancing maybe that energy is just absolutely what you need to do you've got uh, the Scorpio card here death and rebirth coming so let something go let go of of old energy to, to manifest it's coming with the magician so that's perfect you know this is what you want to have coming into out of one year and into another so don't be afraid when something like the death card comes up because um, it's it's about getting rid of old energy and starting the new year with this rebirth so it's it's a classic time to have that card coming up it could be a Scorpio that is going to help you as well with this magician to pull everything off over this time Christmas and New Year uh, you have the three of Pentacles funny because I got this in the Sagittarius reading so again this is manifesting putting things maybe I've just straight away thought of putting up your Christmas decorations and tree you know maybe this is part of this whole thing of okay get into the spirit of things you know get into it get into 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 the festivities because uh, I'm attracted to this green and red here thinking you know the Christmas kind of decorations and you know if you've got children getting them into the spirit of things keeping them occupied with arts and crafts during the school holidays keeping them them busy in that kind of sense so that you can have this time to yourself and you know working on yourself as well because the three of cups is is this apprentice kind of card so maybe you're not quite where you want to be spiritually or um, physically so you know doing those nice things to help you to come into that kind of energy the two of wands lovely coming over the ace of pentacles so again looking out on the horizon i feeling like uh looking at this little combi van here I, i'm just feeling like a trip is going to make you feel quite is going to make you feel good and it's over the ace of pentacles so don't get worried about money because there will be enough for this for this little holiday or trip there's going to be what you need don't go looking out at what everybody else has you know just stay satisfied with these simplest you know the simple things look at this is really cute this little combi van looks like there's a surfboard there maybe you're going somewhere towards water i'm loving the the two of wands here and kind of thinking you know maybe that's the first part of it is is looking out and wondering perhaps you are wondering about whether there will be enough um you know money towards it how funny is this 
what comes out to clarify the Queen of Swords is the Queen of Swords. <laughs> so, you know, wow, always uh, air energy. It could be, again, I'm just feeling like um, another message about, you know, watching that your words, making sure that they're not cutting and really looking at those people who, you know, maybe they're giving out uh, advice or suggestions. This is coming into my mind people who kind of go oh no you should have done it this way or whatever but thinking about it in a loving way of what they're trying to teach you or you know having a nice feeling about it and and maybe you know I think that it's quite odd that these are totally different decks and the women look very similar and so you know thinking about how you can alter your communication. It's very air energy here. So you've really got your Librans, your Aquariuses and your Geminis. So think about their kind of the way that those sort of people conduct themselves with that. You know, they're very good with their communication. So, you know, Capricorns um, being that you can get kind of flustered with the way you wanted things to be, you know, you're very, uh, into your home and how it looks and how things things are and you know you put a lot of pressure on yourself so you know take the the friendly advice from people and think about them in a loving way that they're trying to help you and you know it's funny because the ten of swords came out to go over the ten of cups so ten energy uh, again this is ten of ten of swords it's making me laugh because I'm just thinking of course it's this again surrounding you with your uh, trying to keep all the family happy and you feel as though you know you've got to you could go into an energy of feeling as though you're the one suffering for everyone else to have a happy time but that is just your way of looking at the scenario you know you can also be one of these people just going oh blow it you know it is what it is it's as good as uh, yeah, look, oh, how amazing. Bottom of the deck, 10 of pentacles. So now you've got the 10 of pentacles, the happy home, the, you know, look, enough money, plenty of money here to have a lovely time with friends, family, however you're going, you know, if you're on your own, it's going to places where people are enjoying this energy. But there is enough. You have enough. So, so funny because we've got 10, 10, 10. I mean, what could be more brilliant than having all of your 10s here together? So take the good out of each of these, you know, look further into the horizon than what you've got immediately. You know, look at it long term about what it's like to spend time with family. Remember these times because, you know, we had a few times there where we weren't able to be around family so it's lovely to kind of have that gratitude and uh, be able to think about our families in in that way now that we're able to be together and you've got the card of love coming up here love is the foundation of your existence and you're just you are just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion right this is totally reinforcing while love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. And that is perfect messaging to go along with our scenario here of, you know, everybody does love you, Capricorn. You know, they know the sacrifices that you put in and, you know, love yourself as well. Make sure that you do put that energy in, you know, get, get in the... Get in the fun vibes, you know. Don't stop the pressure on yourself. Um, you know, this has got a, a message for relationships. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. If there's not an ex there, it's talking, you know, when I'm looking at this, this could be a message for the Romance Angel card. So it can be about, about that, which is why your energy stuck. But I'm also just seeing this exhausted you know person feeling and it's that energy change you know it's right here come out of you know cut it out and then you're going to have instead of looking like she is exhausted you're going to be looking like this this lady is like she's got a glass of red about to parte so you know change the energy clear it out it's the end of the year you've made it you made it Capricorn you made it to the end you know, that's all we needed to do really is get to the end of this year 
and you know sometimes we we come to the end of the year just barely getting there dragging along and you know everybody has the same concerns and worries as you at the moment you know lots of people especially at this time of year it's hard to to make ends meet uh, but that's just because of expectations of looking out at others you know the the best things that you have are the experiences getting in that king of wands you know they're those fire sign energies your aries your sagittarius's you know your leos they love to have fun that's what making memories is what it's all about so don't worry about you know not having enough because really the experience is is all of it capricorn enjoy the month of december coming into your birthday energy towards the end of the month and have a lovely christmas and um new year and but i'll check in uh probably midway just to see how you're going thanks for supporting my channel please like share and subscribe this is esoteric tales and tarot thanks for listening